Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're brand spanking new. Stoked to have you here. Today, today's video is we're gonna be uh, basically dissecting a primer that is like a dark gray slash black. Uh, I just recently got this in a PR package and I thought it was like pretty crazy sounding. I was like, okay, how is a primer that's that dark gonna go on your face and actually work and do like all of these marvelous things that it says that it will. So let's just jump right into this. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of information about the primer, what the brand claims that it's supposed to do, what it's made out of, the ingredients, and how much it is, and then we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if it actually does all of the things that it says it's gonna do, and if it warrants the steep price tag for a primer. Now, for me personally, for my skin, primer has never been something that's like a make it or break it sort of a situation, because I have, I don't have oily skin, I kind of have like combo skin, and luckily my foundation and makeup stays on pretty damn well. I've never had, too much of an issue with that if, unless the product just like doesn't work for me. So, but what I do have is fine lines and wrinkles and whatnot. So, um, and I'm sure a lot of you have oily skin or have issues keeping your makeup on your face. So let's get into what this is supposed to do. So this is the Detox and Chill Primer, and this is actually the color that it is. You are seeing through the packaging and to the product. This is 38 doll hairs. So <laughs> that is like, if you break that down, minimum wage in California, that's like over two hours worth of work sitting somewhere and working. If you look at it that way, like that, this, this is a lot of street tacos. Okay. This is 38 street tacos. Typically I'd say not worth it, but we're going to try it. This says that it is a lava water foundation primer. So I've never like Foundation, usually they're just called primers, but this is like, this is for foundation, foundation primer. Did I already say the brand? This is pretty vulgar. They're pretty new, they're in Sephora now. Um, they came up, uh, I would say like around last Coachella or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. That's when I started learning about them and seeing them. But I hadn't received a PR package for a really long time. Like I got an initial PR package and then I hadn't seen anything for a while. So then I got a PR package with this and some new setting uh, powder that they have. I almost said primer, setting, setting primer. This is Lava Water Foundation Primer. Um, and by applying the unique charcoal formula on your skin, so that's what's making it, it darker, uh, and watch the color transform into a sheer veil of colorless perfection as it is absorbed. So as it's absorbed by your skin and soaked in by your skin, it supposedly becomes more sheer. It's really dark, I don't know, Let's we're gonna test this out. This exotic primer will not only increase the wear and time of your makeup, but will provide you with a smooth, supple, and hydrated skin with its gel-like texture that transforms into a cooling burst of anti antioxidant rich water beads. That sounds like so fancy, like too fancy for my life. Too fancy for my TJ Maxx shopping ass. Like the formula also contains blurring and charcoal powders to promote oil absorption and detoxified skin. All right, so that could be great if you have oily skin, if it does what it says it's gonna do. Overall appearance and condition of your skin will improve due to the high concentration of purified volcanic water enriched with essential minerals obtained from the incredibly lush ecosystem of the Jeju Islands. Where is that? That's crazy, okay. So the number one ingredient that it has the most of in it, that's how ingredients list works in case you weren't sure, uh, is seawater, glycerin, and then some other stuff that I don't know what it is. Charcoal powder is the last ingredient. That means there's the least amount of that in this out of all of the other ingredients. That doesn't sound right. It says for application, that you like some beauty tips, it says you can actually wear this alone to simplify and hydrate and detoxify your skin, or, or to simply hydrate, not to simplify your skin. <laughs> Even though we all wish probably that our skin could be simplified, that would be great. Or you can mix the primer with your foundation for a more hydrated finish. I am a big fan of doing that, especially when it is dry out. Let's see, where are the Jeju Islands? Jeju Island is the largest island off the coast of the Korean Peninsula. You learn something new every day. So there is one fluid ounce of product in here. Sounds like that's pretty typical. This is like the exact same packaging, almost. This is one ounce as well. We've got uh, 0.88 ounces from ColourPop, 1.01 fluid ounces. Why, why'd you gotta add the other one from Lorac? So that seems pretty like typical, like one ounce, pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we, oh, we are going to apply this. There it is. It feels like really like almost like um, like a 
a water-based primer. It's like melting in my hands. So, okay, all right. That's interesting. Not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. It feels really hydrating. It's got like some peppermint or eucalyptus or something in it. It just melts into your skin. I don't know how this is gonna reduce the appearance of like wrinkles and stuff when it's just literally soaking into my skin. That feels really good though, that it's like just soaking up in there. It has a really nice consistency. Like it feels good. Like it literally just melts. It does still feel like there's some sort of like oil in there. Okay, so there's sunflower seed oil in it. It looks like that's the only oil, so that must be what I'm feeling. It completely did soak into the skin. It did not lie. It did just that. We don't, I don't have like a completely like, you know, charcoal covered face. So that's, that's good. Next, I'm really interested to see how my foundation applies over this. The way my face is feeling right now, it kind of feels like it might just slide right off of it. It's a little, it's not tacky at all. It's just, it feels, you know how like when you put too much primer on and then there's still a bunch left over, but it's like the silicone-y feeling kind? Kind of feels like that right now a little bit, just slightly. So maybe I'm gonna give this another minute to soak in and see how we do. Allow the primer to fully absorb into the skin before applying your foundation. I feel like I might have put, I might have gotten a little overzealous with the charcoal uh, primer because it felt really good. Um, I probably put a little bit too much on there. You probably only need like a dime size amount. So I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy fan that you guys love so much and just let this soak into the skin before applying foundation. But we'll see how it applies over. I'm gonna use one of my favorite foundations right now that I know looks awesome on my skin. So if it doesn't look awesome, then we're gonna know something's up. But my hope is that it's gonna look even better than I'm used to it looking, which would be thanks to this. Okay, I feel like this has had enough time to settle in and um, we're gonna go ahead and use the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. This is one of my absolute favorite foundations right now. If you guys wanna learn more about my perfect base routine at the moment, uh, I will leave that link in the description box below. And if I forget to do that when I put this video up, it is, it, 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 got put up like not that long ago. So it, it'll be in my videos. This is, a lot of you guys have been asking the shade. I keep forgetting to tell you guys the shade. So the shade that I am currently today is medium 85 and that's what this is. Actually, it looks a little dark. Maybe I'm gonna mix it with light 60. I am having pump issues. Ugh. I'm going to apply my foundation with a brush. Just gonna paint my face and we're gonna see how this is applying. So far it looks good. Hard to say. Isn't it just weird like that we paint, like paint all over our face? Like I just saw, sat down and thought about that the other day. I was like, how weird is it? Like before anyone ever had foundation or anything like that, how weird was that when someone was like, you know what? I'm gonna take that like super like thick <laughs> like stuff and just put it all over my face and I'm just gonna wear that all day. Like that's just like such a weird thing to think of. We're just painting ourselves. It's so weird. It's also weird how it's like changed throughout the years. Like a long time ago, like the men would paint their faces white and like, you know, that super, super, super light white paint or whatever and wear those weird white wigs and stuff. And like, it's just changed so much. It looks like it is applying pretty much exactly the same, maybe even a little bit better. It seems like it's, it's pretty, it's been pretty easy to like blend out. On my monitor, it looks like my face is a completely different color than my neck, but in person it completely matches. So hopefully, hopefully that's translating. But if not, I promise you it matches in person. I wore like red eyeliner last night and now I just look sickly today. I promise I'm not sick. It's the red eyeliner. Everything's looking really good. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take their setting powder, even though this isn't a video about their setting powder, and I'm gonna set my under eye area and face um, since I normally would do that. And then I will do my eye makeup off camera and then we'll come back and see how everything's looking and make our final uh, opinions on on this on this primer. So their setting powder is called the Powder Room Matte About It. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I like it a lot. Um, I'm just gonna take this on a giant brush and I'm just gonna dab dabaroo it everywhere, pretty much. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup, which will be probably about 20 minutes. So it'll give this uh, foundation a good chance to kind of like look awesome or not. Let's find out. Face makeup, eye makeup. All of that is finished. I would say that my skin feels really good. The foundation looks really good too. 
I don't know if it looks like super different than usual, but like I am actually really liking, like there's a little bit of tingling sensation going on with the primer still, mostly around the mouth and the eye area. But I don't know if I wasn't supposed to put it around my eyes or what, but it actually feels good. My skin feels really hydrated. The foundation blended on really well. Um, so those are all positive things and I know that I said my skin hangs on a makeup really well, but I'm still gonna do a wear test with this, I just decided, like after I was finished with my makeup, that I'm gonna wait like six or so hours and not touch up my uh, my base at all. Like I'm not gonna do any powdering or any reapplication or anything, and I'm just gonna check in with you guys in six hours and see how we're looking, if the primer has helped um, the foundation stay on even better. Uh, the only place I really get oil is kind of like my T-zone a little bit. So let's wait six hours and see how this looks. And we are back. It is now around 8.30 at night. When I was filming this before, it was around 1, 1 1.30. It was around, it was around there. Uh, so it's been quite a long time. How many hours is that? It's been like, it's been like seven hours. So this has been on here for quite a long time. I have to say like, it still looks really good. Like usually my smile lines are a lot more pronounced than they are right now, even with this awesome foundation that I like. So it definitely seemed to help with that. Um, and I would say that like all the shine that you're seeing is my highlighter because I don't look any more oily than I was before. Like maybe like just the slightest bit, but it seemed to really control that because usually like over here I'd be a little bit more oily. Yeah, overall it's, uh, it's looking pretty good, better than I can see from my hair right now. It's been falling out like all day long. It's just been kind of a mess. I was gonna wait even longer to film, but like I really have to take these eyelashes off and stuff and just like get in my pajamas and take a shower and everything. And as I was like on my little break or whatever, I was looking up some prices of some other uh, primers and it's like the luxury, it's like a luxury price, you know, like Smashbox, Too Faced, etc. They're all kind of around the same price. They're like in the 30s. This one isn't quite as expensive as I guess I initially thought. I mean, it is expensive, but it is a luxury item for sure. But I do really like how this is working on my skin. And I can imagine that if you have issues keeping your makeup on your face or you do actually have oily skin, that this might really be a, an awesome product for you because I don't have super oily skin, but I do notice that it did definitely um, keep it like less oily in the T-zone where I do get a little bit oily. So not bad. Um, I have to say I haven't been particularly like careful with my face today because usually I'm not like taking a seven hour break and then filming again. So I was probably like, I, I, I know I was actually like scratching my face and like I was at the office and stuff, um, moving things around, boxes, etc., and doing stuff. So I wasn't really being that careful with my face and I'm pretty stoked on how it looks still. Like I could definitely like go out right now and not even have to touch it up, which would be great. But I have no friends, alas, and I'm not going out anywhere. I'm actually just gonna go upstairs. I might even take a bubble bath because my muscles hurt. I'll let you guys decide for yourselves. I think like different primers react differently with different people's skin types and just what you, you know, your daily routine, what you wear and other products that you wear and layer on top of it. I also like that it was like feeling like a little bit tingly on my face, which really felt like it was like, I don't know why, but it felt like it was like hydrating my skin even more. Overall, I really liked this. I thought it did a great job. Um, so maybe you will too, if you're feeling adventurous, you wanna put some, uh, you know, charcoal primer right on your uh, epidermis, then maybe this is the one for you. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you found this somewhat useful and discovered a new product that might work great for you. If not, you can always return it. That's the great thing about beauty stores is if you try something and you don't like it, they pretty much always let you return it. So thank goodness for that. We will see you in the next video, guys. By the way, I put up a new video on my pet channel every single Monday. So check that out. The, the link is in the description box below. If you didn't know I had a pet channel and you wanna subscribe, See you guys later, bye.